hi all so welcome to this channel and in this video session i'll discuss copy to import file command that is copy to impf command uh, to copy an externally described file to an import file so basically uh, uh, we can copy a externally described file a database file to an import file so that import file would be a source physical file, a program described file or an externally described file with one non-numeric field that has only one field or you can even copy it to the stream file as well. So uh, let's move into the demo so that we can get the brief idea. So I'll discuss uh, an example for this and this one here in this video source physical file and external describe physical file with one non numeric field let's delete this so let's say we have a file work object pf20 so if i do run query on this we'll see uh, the records and the fields so these are the fields having such records four fields and four uh, one record now let's i want to use copy to impf so let me show you first thing is i don't have i have member one member two and all these five are members in this source physical file so first thing I'll show you copy to IMPF command just take F4 so uh, let's I'm copying this PF20 which is present in this library and it's first member to file so here it could be let's take F1 so you'll see we can copy the source physical file a program described physical file or an externally described physical file with one non numeric field so let's say first time i'm copying it to the uh, source physical file so source physical file is gds2 gdl2 in library easy class one and let's say member uh, member one and member two was there so member three new I'm adding the file from CCSID to CCSID. End of record. And all these fields are as default. Let's say and so it says no records copied from file list to in easy class one. So if I take F1, F10, and then shift F6, so you'll see data was truncated to an input, output, or update operation no records copied in this copy command ended because of error so you will see this error but if i uh, go and check just take a five so i'll see that member gets created and i have some data because since we got this error just because the mem data was truncated to this member because this has 92 uh, length record length this source file has but if I look at this, so you will see uh, this has total uh, length as 122. So that's why we, we got this error. So if I have less than that length, then I will be easily copying the externally described database file that's a physical file or a logical file or a multi uh, format file so multi system file so you can copy that to the uh, to the source physical file easily so let's delete this so you saw this just don't delete this let's leave it as it is now we will uh, see that how we can copy it to the external describe file to just take f4 here so we are now again copying pf20 to the uh, file which is let's say pf21 
and the member is let's say star first so copy command ended in error just because this was not found so in this case it does not you have to create the file so what you need to do is pf21 just create a physical file of let's say uh, that should be of one non numeric field so let's say record length is 122 and when we copy that so we'll be adding some delimiters and other things so let's keep more than this so let's keep 150 and just press enter so you have this file now having 150 record length if I do copy to IMPF now and copy so you'll see further options so uh, one more thing to show just pre I'm pressing enter so that I can show you all record records copied from file this run query star n pf21 so you will see uh, they are delimited by comma and the fields are de delimited using the double quotes so the first field the second field third field and fourth field so you can see uh, with the character fields we have a double quotes and all fields are separated by comma these are just because we have such settings here so from CCS ID is of a database file external described database file and that's to the import file so the conversion took place between these two uh, CCS IDs record delimiter is EOR so we can have end of record or CRLF that is carriage return or line feed or line feed or carriage return or at last this one so we can have such characters at the last of the string the last end of the record and this is the uh, generated format in the two file so it's, it could be star dlm so star dlm further define these field star str dlm so that's i'm using double quotes so for with the character fields we have the double quotes you can see uh, separated by the field for every, for every character field and that's a escape character thing so if we are generating any escape character so in this case the escape string delimiter was used to have the escape character thing and further things are like uh, remove blank so I am not removing any blank leading trailing or both and all these settings uh, field delimiter which is separated by uh, should be uh, here it's a comma I'm not using tab null indicator I'm not generating any null indicator with every field whatever I'm copying from an external describe file to the uh, uh, file having uh, one non numeric field so we are denoting that symbol as uh, period or uh, we are having such such date format or the time format so we can have comma as well for the period but I would suggest or I would keep period for now we can have order by clause so that the records would be added in the arrival sequence or any other sequence if you want to the to file and if you want we can add the uh, column names too so for now, now I am not adding any column names so it's the star none you can see it's copied gain it has two records just because I took this option as a star add if I take f4 so it's a star add I can have replace as well so now it has three records now uh, now we we have seen that how we copied an external sky file to the source physical file a member or an excel sky file uh, with one num non numeric field now now let's copy to the uh, uh, ifs stream file so work link if i uh, if i see 
we don't have any stream file with uh, a name pf20 or 21 so let's copy copy to ampf so let's copy pf20 having four fields which is there in this library so i'm not specifying two files so i have to specify either two files to import file or to the stream file so here i specify the path so i'll copy it to the home directory and let's say i uh, create the same name so member option is star add so i'm adding the record from file to the stream file pcs id default so we cannot specify eor in case when we are copying to the uh, stream file so if i press enter i'll get the error copy did not complete for reason code 11 let's see the reason code the record elementer parameter for a stream file can only be such things so we cannot have eor that's good that would be possible for the database file or allowed for database file so let's say CRLF and other things are same. So now if I do work link, I'll see that PF20 got created, string file got created, and having such things. So you can see all the things uh, are all the fields are delimited using the double quotes uh, that's a character fields and separated by comma. So if I if I try to copy PF21, which is there in uh, which I copied, so in this PF21, that's the exchange sky physical file with one non-numeric field, which I copied through PF20. So I can copy that too. Let's have PF21. So if I take a five here, so I can see that's created too. So we can have all those things here so this way we we can uh, copy uh, uh, we can use the copy to impf command to copy an external sky file to an uh, source physical file uh, to an um, uh, external sky physical file with one non numeric field or to an stream file so that's all in this video which i i want to i'm to show so thank you and have a nice time